Hey YouTube universe, thank you for pressing that play button. I want to give a special thank you to all the individuals who left a very encouraging comment in my last video. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you guys. This is going to be a special video for my good friend Rachel at The Music Ma'am, who's holding a contest which she has labeled The Music Pilgrimage. What an amazing concept. And I had been wanting to make a video about this um, concept for a while and I never got around to it. So I'm going to be able to jump on this um, on this video. She asked us to discuss three questions. The first one is to discuss a landmark um, that's important musically or historically. And the second one, she wanted us to discuss the history of the name of our channel. And third, uh, she wanted us to discuss a beautiful song. Um, so I'm going to be answering those questions here. So, so stay with me as I um, try to answer these questions. So I'm going to be discussing a special person who is very, very important in rock and roll history and also for my ethnic background. Um, this person died at the age of 17 years old in a plane crash. He is a native to Pocoima here in California and I took a pilgrimage to see the place where he grew up in, the schools he went to and um, what the city has done to remember him. I also had an opportunity to visit his um, resting place. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get in, but you'll see the footage. Um, he, the day that he died uh, has been labeled the day that music died. Um, he passed away in 1959, and he was inducted into to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. The person who I'm talking about is Richie Valens. Um, died at a very young age. He was 17 years old, just 17 year olds. Um, the, thing, the things he was able to accomplish in eight months of his career was amazing. Um, this is the two records that I own um, by Richie. Um, I was very lucky to find these. They're a little bit up covers. Um, the records are okay, um, but I will be discussing him. I'm going to be showing you some footage uh, as I was driving around town, the town that he lived, and um, some beautiful murals um, that were done in remembrance of him. So come with me as we take on... Uh... So I'm on the 5 freeway here in Los Angeles. Um, this stretch of the freeway is actually named after Richie Valens. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up close right here. You can see it right there. Richie Valens became rock and roll's first Latino star. Richie Valens opened the door for future Latino stars. He was a true pioneer of Chicano rock, and he influenced future groups like Carlos Santana, Los Lonely Boys, and Los Lobos. Richard Valenzuela was born on May 13, 1941, in Pacoima, California. In 1958, he was discovered by the president of Delphi Records and was rebranded as Richie Valens. It was probably necessary for him to get the attention of the radio. Radio was still pretty closed medium back in the late 50s, and they weren't going to play Richie Valenzuela. Most of the DJs couldn't even say it. Valen's first single, Come On Let's Go, hit number 42 on the Billboard charts. But it was his second single, Donna, named for an old girlfriend, that wound up being his biggest success. The song hit number two, then became famous again in 2001, after airing on the series That 70s Show. I think Richie Valens' tune Donna was important in the early days of rock and roll, and probably still is today, because it was such a relatable song. It was the opposite of, of Come On Let's Go, which was the rock and roll record. It was a balance because it was a slow, beautiful ballad. 
on the B-side of Donna, Valens recorded the classic hit La Bamba, which would become his trademark. A top 25 hit in 1959, La Bamba made a comeback in 1987, when it was covered by Los Lobos for the Richie Valens biopic starring Lou Diamond Phillips. Richie Valens made a true star out of Lou Diamond Phillips when he starred as Valens in the biopic La Bamba. This was a great platform where Phillips was able to showcase not only his acting skills, but his singing skills and his dancing skills. On February 3rd, 1959, Richie Valens, Buddy Holly, and the well-known DJ The Big Bopper died in a tragic plane crash. The event was memorialized by singer Don McLean in the 1971 hit American Pie as the day the music died. I think Richie Valens had a huge impact on music considering that he was only really in the music business for Actually, less than a year. It was something like eight months, which was like crazy. But he had some wonderful records, and those records are everlasting. He was just a, unfortunately a shooting star. Rachel wanted us to do is to discuss or give a history of how we got the name of our channel. My channel is called Comic Rema. Initially, this was going to be a comic book and book review channel, which kind of morphed into a binomial community channel. This is the reason why I still kind of bring up comics um, in my videos. So comic, um, you guys know what that means, is this, you know, works of art with dialogue that give you a story there are a, there's a vast history of comics and the art in it i will not discuss that i'm gonna discuss the word rema in my channel the word rema is a greek word that means utterance or a thing said um initially you want to what I wanted to do, which I still do, I have a blog, which I do this in my blog. I'm a great believer that God speaks to us in many different ways. I know that a lot of people do not believe in God. This is just my belief. I believe that God speaks to us in many different ways. And one of the things that God speaks through me is through literature and comics. Um, so I would be reading a comic or a book and then bam, I would get um, a rema from God. Uh, so what is a rema from God? It's something that um, maybe the Holy Spirit or God's put into your heart as you're reading. He reminds you either a scripture, or reminds you of something and puts that thought or that word into your heart. And when that happens, whatever that word is, it comes into your heart. It just brings the scripture of God's word to life. And you basically live it because God's word is a living word. Um, so you live it. You put it into practice into your life. One of the things that God has been speaking to me in my life um, lately is through my son. As a father takes care, takes care of his son, um, God is looked at in the Bible as a father. So I'm receiving a lot of rema from my relationship with my son. Um, one thing that God really speaks to me through also is nature. So things like flowers and trees really resonate with me, uh, with the creation and just life in general. Other things like the fruits of trees, like the process that goes into creating a fruit is just amazing to me and mind boggling how that happens. 
Um, so Comic Rema initially was a channel where I was going to review a book, for example, this, and I would be discussing what God spoke to me through the book, through this literature, um, and many other books. Um, this is one book where I definitely God has spoken through me. This is Phoenix, the Tale of the Future. Um, this is Osamu Tezuka. This is a manga artist. Amazing work. Um, he started off making comics for children and then he, he is considered the godfather of manga. He really, really, really discussed really mature concepts in his literature and in his later work. Uh, with a lot of the stuff is really only for mature readers. Um, it's really, really deep stuff. And that's the little nugget of the history of the, my channel name. Rachel also wanted us to discuss a song or melody or a song lyric that we think is beautiful. I'm gonna focus um, on three albums or three aspects of um, of music. The first one that comes to mind is A Love Supreme by John Coltrane. A phenomenal album. Um, the melodies on here are so memorable that if you hear any song from this album, you know who it is. Um, it's very melodic. Um, it's thought to be a very spiritual album. Um, Coltrane took a lot of time uh, by himself contemplating and writing the music. And uh, ultimately, he said that he received this music and ultimately it was um, regarded as a gift to, back to God. Um, so definitely, um, I love Supreme, opening track, um, the second track resolution also beautiful melodies um on that um beautiful beautiful another album similarly um comes to mind is um, Albert Eiler's um Spiritual Unity and I'm gonna go uh with a song that I think is beautiful is um the last song on side B which is uh Ghosts Second Variation it's another one of those very melodic songs that just stays with you and resonates with you for a very long time um i also think it's a very beautiful melody and um just the impact of that song stays with you for a very long time um and for worship for me um a song that comes to mind today uh, would be citizens a song called oh god it's a very intimate song um it just speaks gospel truth um, into your heart um, during a lot of dark times I definitely need uh, truth to be spoken to me and uh, to be spoken to myself um, and oh God is one of those songs that um, just resonates and just kind of brings me back um, into the truth um, that I need to be grounded on um, so definitely is one of those uh, mellow songs reflective um, it's a bit dark, um, but it's it's definitely a reflective song that kind of makes you reflect on life and, uh, and on the truth. Um, so we want to um, leave you guys with those free recommendations. Rachel, thank you so much for holding this contest. Hope this video wasn't too long. Um, God bless everyone out there. Be in peace with yourself. Be in peace with others. Excuse the haircut. I haven't had one in two months. Uh, see you guys on the next one. And I hope everyone's well out there. God bless.